How's it going YouTube? It's Panda Time. In this video we have myself playing Mega Gargamon going up against Lord Knight and can I just say is there any other channel on YouTube that gives you guys as much Lord Knight content? Come on. Be real with me. We love Lord Knight. At least now that BT5 is over. We're gonna see a TK start. We're gonna have the Nightmon. On the other hand we have that ninth Altar Gummymon who looks super sweet. Gonna go into Terrier. Gargo for one. Trying to find a way to eventually use our memory to, you know, spend four and then three as well. Gonna hard up the Terry and then boom, Mimi for three memory. Some crazy plays here. Gonna go Pito in the back. We know he has the Knight Mon. Is the Lord Knight there already? That's a very expensive Angel Mon. We're going to promote, going to the Rapid, use the Mimi to get some extra hatch in action. Gonna go into another nice Gummy Mon and then. Henry for three because of Terramon to pass turn. So just doing a good job of setting up our tamers. Uh, we know the Lord Knight is likely coming, and meanwhile we're gonna just gonna try and be set up as much as possible. Gonna go with Lord Knight, but stay in the back. You know, playing for some safety. Gonna ensure that when the Lord Knight does come out, it's gonna be pretty powerful. Gonna play Copemon to search for five, getting a full whiff. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. We can promote, use Mimi to hatch. At this point, if we suspend that Kotmon, we get two memory from two Gummymons, which is pretty juicy, so we're gonna do so with the Henry. Just using the Gummies to, uh, you know, dig through our deck, push a little bit of damage, and then we can, I guess, crash a tear into the Kotmon, because it's both 2k. Uh, kinda sad, but it's okay, we got to clear his Digimon and push some damage. Now, the scary part is that the Lorna is gonna come out swinging, that's definitely terrifying. We're gonna set up a salad boost, revealing not one, not two, but three Mega Gargos, taking one of them. Uh, to try and ensure that, you know, we have a good answer to the Lord Knight next turn. By going into an Arbor one in the back. Pretty solid board, Lord Knight definitely coming out. This is the famed Lord Knight signed by Scott the Wasp. So Nightmon's gonna fully clear the board. Pretty solid turn, as you would expect, right? Question is, can our follow-up turn answer this board? The Lord Knight could definitely get out of control. Gonna just do some more setup, play the Pulse one to get some card draw, and then Pancake Boost to search additional pieces. Thinking of picking up the Kasumon to close out the game later on, but obstacle for the Andromon, as uh, so, you know, potentially at this point you want to ensure that you can rebuild the stack in the back just in case, right? So we're gonna Digisorb into the Young Blossom for zero. We can then tap the Mimi Hatch, getting great value out of Mimi in this game. Mimi is one of those, you know, BT1 cards, still crazy powerful to this day. Gonna go into pre-release tear in the back. Thinking about, you know, what the correct play here is, how we can answer the board. Gonna opt to Nidhogg, but by going with the plan boost, we're going to maintain a turn, because we can then go Chaos and swing over the Nightmon, you know, check in one in security. A pretty good way to clear the board, right? We do pass over quite a bit of memory. I think the idea is that if we just do a regular Nidhogg, then he has the Knight Mon, he can easily go into an Order Lord Knight, and we'd be right back in a terrible spot. So in this case, we spend a memory boost and we pass over more memory, but we at least pass over more. That said, with that extra memory we passed over, it's just enough to go into right another Lord Knight in the back. Now the Chaos Mon is sitting out there, he can swing at security relatively safely, uh, but the Lord Knight could definitely swing over it with enough DPs. We can play a Willis to get that last hatch, just turboing through our rookies. Gonna just get some more chip damage and just set up so that, you know, next turn we can potentially do something crazy. Maybe just like swing hybrid for game, right? The Lord is gonna come out, gonna swing at security actually, playing Nightmon to minus DP the Chaos Man. Could definitely have swung over it, right? But opt to swing at security for some extra damage, hit into another Willis. Gonna go Piddle to set up a blocker, so don't instantly die to a hybrid. Uh, does have to clear the Chaos Mon, of course. And since he didn't swing at it, there definitely is an answer to it. And it's gonna be the Mercy Mode. So, I've been talking to Wind, you know, the player that plays Lord Knight, and I think Mercy Mode is a really good level 7 for Lord Knight. Because the problem with the Balder Arm in the past is that, like, you would go into your level 7 and get an effect, but then you would lose your Lord Knight, which is like the most powerful Digimon in your deck, and that kind of sucked. So a nice thing about Mercy Mode is that you can have your Lord Knight, do your shenanigans, do your plays, and then go into Mercy to pass turn, as we're seeing here, 
as we're seeing here. The Mercy can then answer a Digimon, and then at the start of your turn, Mercy's gonna trash the security, and then it goes away, so you still maintain your Lord Knight, so you can still do all those crazy plays. So the more I think about it, the more I think that the, the Lord Knight really is the way to go. I mean, the Mercy mode is the way to go for a level seven Lord Knight. We're gonna set up a Terramon to add some extra bodies, get in some cheap devolutions with the double Willis, and then gonna go into a Mega Gargo to essentially uh, stun the board as we can suspend all Digimon and they cannot unsuspend. The Mercy mode is gonna cost us one security, another Chaos and security, uh, but we're pretty set up here, right? Mega Gargo just holding it down, chilling. We are out of X, however, because we're just, you know, burning through them with Mimi and Willis. Uh, but it is what it is, right? It's an accelerated cost. Uh, the blocker is going to stay suspended. Next turn we can swing, swing, and that's going to be an easy game. That said, there's still quite a bit of memory to work with. Going to go into a Dynasmon. Not going to use the effect, but then can then Blinding Ray recover from the Blinding Ray, which is pretty nice. Uh, at this point, Dynas could keep him alive because another Mercy Moon is going to clear out the Gargo. So we can't swing and hybrid for game because Dynasmon is going to recover one, right? So it's kind of annoying. We, like I said, have no more babies. We need to want to Gargo for zero because of our double Willis. We can still turbo out into a level six. Going to hard plan our Terramon, Digisorb and Argomon, and then go into another Mega Gargo to once again stun the board. So again, same idea, right? We're going to have two bodies on the board. We can just swing for game. At this point, the Mega Gargo could swing. Use the effect to bounce the Dynasmon so the effect does not trigger. The Mercy Mode does take away our top security though. And he's gonna swing Bushi into a Terrier, so it actually survives. Kind of annoying. We're not dead to a hybrid or another Bushi, so it's kind of nice. And Mega Gargo can once again just hold it down. It is kind of scary because we're freezing the board, we're not actually answering it. But in case, like, all we need is one more turn to close the game out, so it seems fine, right? Wyrus is gonna be played to take out the Mega Gargo, which hurts quite a bit. We do have a Terramon left over. Once again, Terry plus Hybrid is not enough. But we can once again Digimon to a Gargo for free using the double Willis. Go into a Rapid. And go into another Mega Gargo to once again fully stun the board. Now, if this Mega Gargo survives, we're free to swing, add security, bounce the Dynas, and then Hybrid for game. A pretty solid strategy, if you will. However, there's two Mercy Modes and double Wyverns to actually clear all my Mega Gargos. We have no way to answer, and that's gonna be game one. A pretty spicy game one, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I do like the Mega Gargo deck, it's pretty cool. We're gonna see a pretty similar opener for Lord Knight. Gonna go Rookie in the back, and then TK to pick up the pieces. Uh, not bad. We're gonna go Gummy into the Terramon, who's kinda beat up. And once again, a great way to answer back the memory. Setting up our Tamers, Mimi, and in this case, a Willis. Gonna be Digivolving Terramon in the back. And then again, just a lot of setup for Lorna, right? Wanna ensure that you get your pieces, and when your Lorna comes out, it's very powerful. You can suspend the Willis for that cheap Digivolution onto the Gargo for one. And have to play a very expensive Terry more there. I'm not a fan of that, but it is what it is. We can at least pick up another Gargomon. Gonna go Nightmon in the back, straight into the Lord Knight. So once again, it's a race of these powerful level sixes and board setup. Gonna go so many Gargos, we might be missing those fives or sixes, right? And I once again play another pre-release Terry to get those searches. Not nice thing about the Gargo deck is that it looks super cool. So I'll bling that, which is nice. Lord Knight's gonna swing, and here's where the party gets started. The Nightmare's gonna clear out one of them, does hit into a Henry. Uh, Henry is not huge at this point since we already had the Mimi, but it can be nice. Close one to draw one. And I guess could just keep going wide, right? The Lord Knight is kind of scary. Like Lord Knight getting the free Nightmare, since BT5, such a powerful combination, right? Getting that free level 5 just goes a long way. Those memory boosts, gonna play a Starmon to just clear the little guys. We have double Gargo though, dog with jeans. We can promote, set up a little Issy. Going to a Rapid for a discounted cost. Rapid effect can tap the Nightmon. We can get our memory back from the Issy and tap our get card draw from the Gummy Mons. And then that's gonna be what I call a very powerful Nidhogg, sending four Digimon to the bottom of the deck. Uh, Nidhogg is still an absolute beast, one of the best boys for green for sure. And because of the Issy and the Gummy Mons, we actually just get so much value out of it, right? Gonna reveal a Mercy Mons going to the bottom. 
Uh, but again, just, you know, going with the setup, all these memory boosts are super scary, right? An extra four memory next turn, potentially. Gonna play another TK, kind of expensive, but it is gonna ensure the pieces. In this case, a Kasimon. We have a lot of Tamer set up, and we have that Terramon that's gonna stop the memory gain. So I think the idea is that we're gonna bring it out with the Mimi to neutralize those memory boosts, which is kind of nice. Nidhogg definitely swinging at security. Uh, so this way we can ensure that there is no Lord Knight next turn and we're in a good spot, right? So could just opt to go wide, tap in the Willis for the discount Digivolution. And just make sure that we're set up for game next turn. Gonna go into a Blossom to pass turn. So we can promote, but you know, the memory gain won't matter. We have a wide board and through the Mimi we can probably just swing for game next turn. Gonna go Kasley in the front, looks like still picking up those pieces. Swinging at security, thinking about the memory boost, but wait, Terrymon. Uh, so yeah, definitely Terrymon putting in way too much work there. I thought it's super nice. Gonna go Gladimon to, I guess, pick up a level five. Nothing in there. We can unsuspend. We have way too many Digimon. And at this point, I think everybody We're actually gonna go into the Gargo, suspend the Gladi, gain memory, draw from Gummy, swing for two checks at security. The old BT3 Gargo double check, still kind of nice. Everybody swings, and that's gonna be game two on the back of a very clutch Nidhogg and the Gargo at the end with the plus one security to close the game out. Very nice, pretty solid back and forth. I'm gonna take this time to say that if you guys are not enjoying BT9, I know that the BT9 meta can be very annoying, and you know, the OTK world is not the best place to play. I would agree with this. But if you step away from like the tier 1 OTK decks and you play other stuff, the game is actually so fun. Like by now our card pool is so big and you can play so many different decks. Obviously if you play some of these decks and you go and you get clapped against Alphamon, it's not the greatest time. But if you have buddies or friends and you can play, like you can have such a good time. A matchup like this, Lord Knight against Gargo, like it's not something you would see at a tournament. But, you know, through the BT9 cards and at this stage in the game, it's something you could do and it's so much fun. I really recommend it. If you're bored of the current Digimon meta and you don't want to play the OTK decks, like, the game is still super fun if you just try some variety, is what I would say. Especially if you're playing, you know, just for friends or with friends for fun. Uh, so while we're talking about that, we're seeing a ton of setup, double pancake boost. We're once again using our Mimi to accelerate our hatching, going into a Rapid. And again, just chilling with that Terramon to prevent the memory boost from being activated. Seems pretty solid. Gonna go Lord Knight in the back. And then Codemon to just pick up the pieces. Did you guys know that Mercy Mode is a Holy Warrior? You can get picked up by Gladimon and Codemon. Pretty cool stuff. We're going to go wide. Again, keep using the Mimi for the extra hatches. Probably. Gonna go Gargo to the discount. Again, getting so much card draw from the Gummy Mons. Mega Gargo can swing for, I believe that's three checks at security. One from the Rapid Mon and then one from himself. We do give another memory boost, but hey, as long as we have Terry Mon, those memory boosts are not too scary. He's gonna pick up the Kasuchi Mon, which is kind of terrifying. He can potentially go back and heal. But, I mean, we could just melt through that security like butter and then probably have enough hits next time to close it out. So we're gonna go into a Chaos Mon, who still has the plus one check, can fully clear the board. Uh, we do die to a Mercy Mode in security. That actually hurts so bad. Really, really tough there. We lose our level seven for free, and we don't actually finish the security. So very, very painful swing. However, as long as we have this Terry Mon, we can at least stop those memory boosts, which is an extra six memory. Very, very scary stuff. The problem is Terry Mon dies to a single Night Mon or Star Mon. So it's kind of a yikes for me. Gonna summon a Pulse Mon, swing it into what I thought would be a Mega Gargo, but it's actually just a little Terry Mon, Sag. <laughs> then he can Mercy Mode the Terrier, get that guy out of there. Now with the Terry Mon gone to the Shadow Realm, he's free to proc the memory boost, getting all the memory he needs. Uh, pretty funny stuff, right? The Terry Mon definitely deserved getting clapped by the Mercy Mode. And again, keep utilizing the memory boost, going potentially all the way. Might even hold one for next turn, might be okay. But it's gonna actually just completely cash out, going into the Kasuchi to go right back to three security. So we had a really strong turn pushing through all five security potentially, but a Mercy Mode of security and a good answer puts us in a terrible spot. 
We're going to go into Rapid to Suspend. Once again, getting a ton of card draw of our Gummy Mons. Gummy Mons just putting in too much work. Swinging at Security. It is a 6k, so we have to Armor Purge. We can then Digisorb into a Gargo. We got another extra hatch for Mimi. And you already know it's going to be the Nidhogg. Get both of those guys out of here. Nidhogg remains once again the king at answering these board based decks. Nidhogg just putting in too much work. And we have still a bunch of Tamers to work with. Terrymons coming up. Gladimon searching for those pieces. Gonna try and rebuild in the back. Starmon to at least clear one of the Terrymons so he's not dead on the board. But we can promote, swing with Nidhogg, swing with Terry, and that's gonna be hybrid for game. A very fun match. I enjoyed that one, and I hope you guys you I hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching.